Hey everyone, it's Lori Melnitsky, speech and language pathologist, stuttering specialist, and ADHD parent coach. And as many of you know, I did and I have launched another business called LM, LMF, ADHD coaching. And I wanted to come on tonight and speak to many of you as parents and as a parent myself and as someone who has mentored many, many parents over the years in using language, um, especially for children who have ADHD and other issues, other learning issues. Um, these are the people who really, really need a lot of praise, encouragement, and hope. Some of these kids other ones and you know older ones also get up in the morning and they're afraid that in school if they make a mistake they're not going to hear anything positive um they're the ones who kind of you know wake up in the morning whether you whether conscious or not not knowing if it's going to be a successful day so we as parents or caregivers or even educators have a big responsibility to actually offer even more praise. Um, and that comes from language. So that can start from, you know, early in the morning and praise that I have seen over the years. And many parents have asked me how I get kids and teenagers and young adults to really um, work to the best of their ability in my office. And I always say it's through the power of praise. And it could start out really simple. Like, you know what? I'm so glad that you woke up on time in the morning. Wow, it's daylight savings time. And how amazing it is that you were able to get up on time. Because I don't know about you, but it was very hard for me to get up in the morning. It could be simple things when they get home from school. You know what? No, oh, this is great. You know, maybe we can find something fun and we can do for like five or 10 minutes. It doesn't like always have to be about school, but there are certain words. They're like power words. Like, I love what you're doing. You really tried. That was fabulous. We're not praising the end result. We're praising the fact that they put effort in. Wow, you spent like another 10 minutes on trying to get something done. You spent 10 minutes on trying to help me make a meal. Thank you so much. You know what? You walk the dog. Thank you. I really like, you know, needed that, that help. And in turn, that really helped me. So we want to keep, you know, every day, we want to keep doing little tiny baby steps to encourage hope. It's very easy to give a child, especially with, you know, ADHD and executive functioning deficits, a list of multi-step directives. You know what? I need you to take out the garbage. I need you to then help me around the house, that then I need you to finish homework. And well, they really only, they lost you at step one, <laughs> okay? There's no motivation for them. There's no incentive. They're not hearing enough positive praise. They're exhausted from being in school all day. Um, their brains are fried. So I just, this is just a little reminder for all of you. There are some power words that are really really helpful, wonderful, fabulous, terrific. Thank you for trying. Um, let's do something together. It would be so much fun. Um, you look so happy. Why? So I want to just keep on You're going to hear me like doing some more lives on, you know, ADHD. Um, another subject, very passionate. Um, like I said, you know, I work with a lot of families on this and a lot of people, you know, ask me and I've learned a lot, you know, actually, to be honest with you, from a lot of my mentors who have helped me and who have taught me to kind of change my mindset, especially in terms of speaking to be a more positive 
and influential speaker. So if anyone wants to like comment below, um, and if there are any other topics you want to hear about, I will be on more. So I hope everyone enjoys this and I love that you actually tuned in. Thank you so much.